How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here and I am here to show you in 2022 how to set up your ASUS Army or your ASUS Aura. Now, the very first thing you need to do is to get into your browser and go, or you can go down to the description box down below as I will have it listed. You have to go to ASUS's website here. Now, Armory Crate is a really good option because as you see here, it can also do many other things such as monitor your CPU. It can also adjust your RGBs, the really nice feature. It can download the latest updates. So what you have to do is go into the download tab up here. When you highlight it, you're going to see a drop down box appear. You're going to go to or sync or armory crate, either one. But this tutorial will be based strictly on Armory Crate, as I was specifically asked by the FanBam to see exactly how it can operate. So go to Armory Crate here and just you can accept the cookies. You don't have to accept the cookies, it's up to you. And then download your latest OS. Now, for now, mine is Windows 10, and the most latest current update is February 25th of 2022. Now you can download it. And when you download it, it's going to download it into a rare file. You're going to want to make sure you go to your downloads folder here and you're going to open up the file. You have to make sure you run it as administrator when you do install it. You're going to double click it. You're going to click yes. And it's going to ask you, would you like to install Armory Crate or install Org Creator? You can install both of them if you want. Practically, Org Creator is just a way for you to customize your RGBs and we are not going to do it that way instead we're just going to strictly install armory crate because that is what this tutorial is going to be based about of course if you want to see more on it make sure you let me know in the comments down below and i'll show you exactly how you can work or create it now let it do its thing wait for this to finally complete its download and install into your system it's also going to ask you to restart your system and we'll be right back okay now we are back we are going to go to armory crate now i will show you exactly how you can sync your rgbs through your pc here so once you enter armory crate it's gonna be freshly updated it might ask you to log into your asus account but for now we're not Usually I recommend to do that because then if you do set up your ASUS account to your Armory Crate, then everything will be set to kind of like a cloud. But let's just go straight to the user center here. It's going to let you know all the latest updates. Um, yeah, we'll update it for now. If you're not familiar with my PC specs, I do have a AMD Threadripper 3970X here. And I do have Corsair Vengeance Pro SLs and i have a msi 3080 ti i also have a asus e-gaming trx 40 motherboard as you see now it has successfully updated we're going to launch armory crate here and we're going to make sure that everything is up to date now make sure you don't exit out don't do anything like that just have a little bit of patience on this part so we're going to close this dialog box we're not just going to go straight to the user center here so as you can see, when you hit the information panel here, it should show your processor. It's gonna show its speed, it's gonna show its voltage, its temperature, which is also a very nice feature that you do have on ASUS Armory. You can even control fan speed here. You can actually control your Aura Sync here if you wanted to. To get in a little bit more deeper, instead of messing with it here, what you have to go to is this triangle looking thing, which is Aura Sync built into Armory Crate. So when you go to Aura Sync, as you can see, I do have addressable LED strips, which are practically the fans. Then I have ROG Strix eGaming motherboard. So we're gonna go to Aura Effects here. So as you see here, we are on strobing mode. As you notice, it's only my motherboard and it is the CPU cooler that are non-Corsair products. Now, as you notice, if you look at the RAM sticks, they are Corsair Vengeance SLs. And you look at my fans, they're all mostly all Corsair products. As you can see, it is unaffected by or sync. So if you have another product, if you have Deep Cool, you have Cooler Master, you have anything else that's other than Corsair products, more than likely it'll work well with or sync. 
as you see the CPU cooler is responsive to it and so is the motherboard. Now let's try to pick some random colors here and now you can see the color shift rapidly in a strobing fashion. Now you can even set on in-game lighting which is a really nice feature so you can actually turn that on if you want it to match your game which is something if you would really like your PC to reflect it. Let's go to the breathing side and as you can see let's change the color of breathing to just say yellow here because it will stand out. Now as you can see you can actually set the speed I'll set it all the way low as you can see it strobing yellow very nice and clearly for you and then you can ramp it up all the way up to five here you'll start seeing it read yellow pretty quickly now they do have some really other nice features here they do have rainbow effect if that's something you care for personally one of my favorites is starry night because you can actually select different colors here for example i would do something like say this pink and to this red color here as the background and you can see how nice of a look it has now you do have other features such as smart mode and what smart mode is you can actually set it by your cpu temperature for a low point for amd ryzen threadripper let's put it say about 50 and then we will make a hot point of 70 celsius 70 degrees celsius so you can get a pretty good idea you can actually have your rgbs reflect your temperature which is also really nice especially if you're using it as a workstation and you're more about its performance or you can even use it as a gaming pc and you're only strictly using rgbs to get an idea of what your pc's temperatures are running you also have adaptive color which is also nice you can actually click at certain areas and I'll select a certain color from your PC, which is really nice. You can click customize and then you just click print screen and you load up the screenshot of whatever you want it to uh, look like. But of course, that's something I could explain a little bit deeper in another video. So practically, you could go in game such as Call of Duty, take a screenshot, put it here and then it'll match Call of Duty which can give it almost a real game feel. And of course you have dark mode, which shuts off all the extra lights that you don't wanna see. You can go here to scenario profiles and you can create new profiles. We'll save it as profile D and whatever you choose, your aura sync configuration, you can choose your volume, your sonic radar, if you have any of the extra uh, software that ASUS does give you. Now you have your tools, which gives you your practically all your updates for your PC here. And it will let you know, hey, you can update your AI Suite 3, you can update your CPU ID. Ideally, personally to me, a lot of these utilities are kind of useless. The only thing I probably use out of this is probably Daemon Tools Lite. It will let you know about your BIOS, if it is more, if it is up to date, and it has drivers for your PC, which is also really nice. Another tip I gotta give is Aura Performance Mode. If you care about the smoothing of your lighting, if you do, it will affect your performance because it will increase your CPU usage. So if you don't have as strong as a processor, this is something I would not recommend. I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is struggling with Armory Crate, make sure you share this video with them and also comment down below because I love hearing from you, fan bam. And if you wanna be a part of the fan bam, all you have to do is go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Fan bam, guys, what would you like to hear next? Was this detailed enough for you? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.